Shakur Stevenson versus Artem Harutyunyan's press conference was a roller coaster. Javante Tank Davis surprised everyone in the building when he showed up. However, the drama does not end here. What Gervonta Davis did next took the internet by storm. Tank jumped on stage and took a swing at Shakur Stevenson. The blood could not run any colder between these two, and we saw it live as they both stared each other down. If it weren't for Shakur's security that stopped Tank, our guy Artem would be fighting a ghost. There's a lot to unravel with this one. I know you're bursting with questions right now. What made Tank get up from his seat and go full attack mode on Shakur? Watch till the end of the video where I answer all these questions. Last fight, Shakur Stevenson wasn't at his peak, but he still snagged a unanimous decision to stay undefeated. Now, the WBC lightweight champ is ready to defend his title for the first time against the tough as nails Artem Harut Union. Catch the action this Saturday night at the Prudential Center in Shakur's hometown of Newark, New Jersey. But hey, you didn't have to wait till Saturday to catch the action because there was a lot that went down during the conference. Not only did we see Shakur finally coming back into the fight space, but we also saw a brawl as Tank Davis put on a show for all the fans watching. But before we get on to that, peep this intense stare down between Shakur and Artem. Now this was all the intensity we saw from Artem. Because apart from this, he praised Shakur in the presser. And that's not the type of energy you usually see from a guy coming to fight. And this was so obvious that even Shakur had to comment on it. Vegas, but um, fuck them, they don't really matter. Um, I really want to talk about him. Uh, he just said, he, I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. You trying to uh, act real humble. Um, try to butter me up, act like you ain't really coming here to win. Nah, you coming to win, bro. I, I already know. I'm on your ass. Though. No, he said he's, he said he's definitely coming to win. Artem, nah, he talk about he, he don't sound as confident as I thought he would sound. So, you know, um, hopefully uh, he, he's coming to fight. That's all I ask. Are you coming to fight? But one thing Artem said that even raised Tank's eyebrows as he heard it was his fight with Frank Martin. Shakur's opponent has fought Tank's last opponent, Frank Martin, in a pro boxing bout. Shakur faced a lot of heat when Tank brutally knocked out Frank Martin, especially since Shakur was set to fight a guy Frank already beat. And let's be real, we all saw what Gervonta Davis did to Frank. So taking on Artem doesn't really prove much for Shakur. But at the press conference, Artem shook things up by claiming he actually won that fight even though Martin was crowned the winner. He even said that Frank Martin knows he lost that one. I came to Vegas last year. I, I, I was fighting um, Frank Martin. It was a great fight. I know uh, Frank Martin knows he lost the fight. And I told everybody I, I will be back in the States. What spices things up is that there's video proof of Frank Martin saying the judges scored the fight wrong and that Artem was the more active fighter and had more success through the rounds. It wasn't even like, damn, dude beating me, right? Because mm -hmm. if you go and watch the fight, I was catching everything. Like the shots that he was throwing, I was catching everything. Mm -hmm. You know, but he got that. He had that amateur style, right? Like that that pace where he bouncing. Like he looked real active. Mm -hmm. Really what he doing is not like affect. It ain't like hit, yeah, hitting me nothing. with nothing. Yeah. You know, he hit me with a few body shots, but like head shots and everything, I'm catching everything. So... Derek, like, you down. My train, like, you down. EJ in the corner, like, I see him. But EJ and them, like, you got to turn it up. Like, you got to be more active. Yeah, you know, I'm catching yeah. everything. But the judges, sometimes they don't, they don't pay attention to all that. They just you, see him throwing more. Throwing more. And then even, even the, the people who watching the fight, right? Me, I, I be active when I fight. Like, so you see me, like, I'm like, damn, nigga, he active. Like, I'm an active fighter. Let's just say this set the mood off for Tank Davis, who was watching from the sidelines. But another thing that's been itching Gervonta Tank Davis from the start 
is the fact that Floyd Mayweather, Tank's former mentor, gave Shakur the title of the best fighter in the 135 division. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the, the lightweight, who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know you have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. Wherever Mayweather is involved, something wild always seems to happen. But this was not the end of Floyd Mayweather in this beef. Gervonta Davis completely lost it when Floyd posted a video of Shakur demanding Tank to man up and fight him on his Instagram story. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sit here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen. Now this had Tank firing up. If there's one thing we all know about Tank, it's that this guy is not one to let these comments just slide. He blasted back at Shakur. Six, seven more fights and I'm naming names. One of the guys, obviously, you and Shakur got into it on Twitter. You was like, yeah. you wanted them six or seven. Yeah, he's definitely one of them. For sure? Yeah, he's definitely one of them. Do you think that's going to be your hardest fight? Hell no. <laughs> nah? Wow. Because he a good boxer, nigga. Like, that's one where I look at y'all two as the best in the division. How? Show me something that he did spectacular. Show me something that he did outrageous. Show me. <laughs> right, His okay. power not outrageous. Okay. His what defense? Oh, you think he got defense? He, he just jumped back. You never see him slip no punch. You never, mm. you never see him slip no punch. Mm. Go look at it. You see him back up from a lot of people. Back yeah. up, move around, move around. He don't got no technique. And his offense is the same thing. Mm. If you go look at his fights. So you I'll feel probably like pin him on work. game by the time <laughs> Watch that. It. Yeah, Hold on, but, but you feel like it's easy work, though. You like... Come on, bro. Yeah. But the question still stands. What made Gervonta attack Shakur in such a brutal manner? Perhaps it could be because Shakur left Tank's name far out of the conversation when talking about his future opponents. Yep, after all that time calling Tank out, he just forgot he even existed. I think that's the real issue. Um, we gotta get somebody to sign the dotted, dotted line, but um, if I could pick, it's either Lemachenko, and if they go fight each other, uh, I say Zepeda. Why, why does Zepeda keep saying my name and clout chasing me and then won't fight me? Uh, I don't think he should get a pass for that either. I don't know about you guys, but I smell a duck. Shakur does not want the smoke with Gervonta Davis, and it's as clear as day. Even Shakur's trainer, Moses, could not give a straight answer when asked about a potential fight with Gervonta Tank Davis. Like, what is the likelihood that he'll get a Javante Tank Davis fight or a Lomachenko fight? I know this is the final, uh, you know, fight on his contract with top rank. What do you think he'll do next? Well, you know, Shakur is one that, you know, believes most of the time what people tell him. And if they tell him he's going to get the fight, he'll get the fight. But if they don't, then, you know, he will be dejected, you know, and disappointed because, you know, those are the guys he's been, he's in the pool, you know, the guys that you need to beat, he wants to beat. So he'd be very upset if he didn't get the fight. Floyd's boxing prodigy, Kermel Moton, was at the press conference keeping it real when talking about Shakur versus Tank. Now, interesting thing here is that Moton has sparred both guys, so his opinion is something you cannot afford to miss. So, Kermel, you sparred Tank, you sparred Shakur, right? Yeah. Okay, break it down if they fight. Um victory fight, you know, both guys are real skillful, southpaws, um, I feel like Shakur will try to, you know, just, you know, use his range, outbox Tank, you know, win the rounds, and of course Tank's going to do what Tank does, he's going to uh, be patient and look for that power shot, so really it could go either way, you know, maybe if Tank doesn't land that shot, Shakur outbox him for 12 rounds, and maybe he does land that shot, and maybe he hurts Shakur, so who knows.
You heard the man. Either Shakur outboxes him, or Tank hits one power shot that can put Shakur to sleep. But Tank didn't waste any time showing Shakur who's boss. He jumped on stage and hit him with a power shot, making it clear who was really at the top. Terence Crawford was quick to react, and after seeing Tank's rage, he picked his favorite to win in a showdown between Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. I think that's the real issue. Um, we gotta get somebody signed the dotted, dotted line, but um, if I could pick, it's either Lemachenko, and if they go fight each other, uh, I say Zepeda. Why, why does Zepeda keep saying my name and cloud chasing me? and then won't fight me. Uh, I don't think he should get a pass for that either. Now let's see what the fans are saying on social media. One of the fans commented this on X. Tank beats everyone at 135. He's got too much power and he's too slick a boxer. He's not gonna bum rush and waste stamina brawling. He is very calculated with what he throws, where and why. He barely threw anything the first four rounds. He's learned Mayweather's style, but with power. Another fan commented, Will all do respect. I don't think anyone wants to watch Shakur versus anybody. He's a great fighter. Don't get me wrong at all. Shakur is one of the best fighters right now, but his style is just super boring. He moves to damn much. Nobody wants to see that at all. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.